Hey kids, so today I'm going to show you how to replace a piece of siding. There actually was a hole here and I just replaced it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through what I did. Uh, but I do have a dad joke for you before we get started. So a guy walks into a hardware store and he says, I need a ladder to work on my siding and to get up on my roof. So the guy says, we have a six foot ladder that will work for your siding and an extension ladder that will get you up on your roof. Do you want them both? And the guy says, I'll take the former now and the latter ladder later. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I have this hole here because, so this, um, when we did our kitchen remodel, this used to be our kitchen and our kitchen's at the other side of the house now. So this actually used to be a vent uh, for um, our dishwasher. And there used to be a, a, a pipe coming out of here and running straight down. So obviously this is what's left. And when we were redoing the inside, I put a, this is a two by four right inside there, nice and solid, but I obviously need to fix this. And so um, what I'm gonna have to do, unfortunately it's affecting this piece of siding and this piece of siding. So this one's gonna be fairly easy because I'm just gonna cut it right here and cut it right here and pop this out. Uh, and then, you know, you, it's probably got some paint that's kind of sealed, so you just take a knife and run it alongside there so that it doesn't uh, pop this out too and kind of make a, a mess. We want it to be nice and clean. And then we'll have to kind of prize things out and we'll pop that one out. And then with this one, because it's kind of here and it's part of uh, with the window here, I don't want my, my groove to be right here. I probably want it like right here, somewhere over here where it's staggered, okay? So I'll probably cut it like here and just replace this piece and then, but I'm going to replace this whole piece and then we don't have to mess with this at all. All right. So looks like I got a nail here. I'm just going to pull that out. Okay. Let's see here. I might even be able to use this piece right here. Um, I'll cut it off here, take that, and then end up putting it here. Uh, may as well, because I think that's enough uh, of a piece to, to fit there. So I just use a knife. Right, so we're just gonna kind of cut away here. It's kind of tight, so <laughs> you'll get what I'm doing though. I'm basically just gonna run a nice um, straight line there, right? All right, and so hopefully you can see now. Now, now I can. You probably can't exactly see that, but you know what I'm doing, right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that free from the paint, or if there was caulk too that was holding it together. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, and then we'll end up caulking uh, the new stuff later, so and it'll be fine and paint it later. Okay. Basically, we're trying to mess with this and this. So I just want to make sure it's free good. Okay. Okay. And then we'll go here. So we're going to remove that whole thing. Okay. Like that. We're just going to want to pry, try to pry that out of there. I can see where the nail is here to it. So if I can get up underneath there, let's see here. Okay. Okay. You see that nail right there? That just popped loose. So now I can yank that out. To help set it free, let's see. It's much easier now. And there was that nail right here that I already removed. Okay. There we go. Kind of set it free. Okay. And so actually, I can go ahead and cut this now. I'm going to cut it. Uh, you know what? Remember how I was going to use that other piece? I got plenty of siding from when they when we did my remodel on the house, so it's no big deal. I'm not going to be able to do that now because that that split right there, right? Uh, I have to go ahead and cut cut that so that it can free up because we're going to need to shove that other piece 
up underneath there, right? So let's go ahead and we'll just cut the side and cut the side. I don't need to, I'm, I'm gonna try not to go ahead and mess with that. Let's do that. Okay. Now. Okay, we're just trying to get that away from there. Enough to where we'll be able to slide the, the next one up underneath there, okay? I might be able to pop that out now. so that this thing can slide up underneath there. And I can see a nail right here too. Ah, it didn't. Okay. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna draw a line right here. All right, so here's my level. And so now this makes it good so I don't, I'm not wonky like this. I can actually make sure that I'm level by checking the bubble here. And I'm gonna get as close as I can over to this thing over to this where the hole is. Okay, and let's make it level. Okay, that looks good right there. Okay. So that's where I'm gonna make my line right here because I wanna remove this. I don't wanna remove that, I wanna leave that alone. Okay, uh, so, and I'm gonna show you the tool I'm gonna use. This is called an oscillating multi-tool. I will do a Tool Tuesday on this because it's such a great tool. And so what, what this does, you know, there's different ways you could do this. You could score this with a knife and go over and over again, be really careful with it, especially since you're only doing one. Um, or you could use, a, a, you know, a, a, or just a regular saw and kind of work on it and be really careful. But this will make quick work of it because what happens is this blade right here, just goes back and forth really fast, okay? So I'm just gonna be able to go like this, put it here and work it down, okay? But what I wanna do is you gotta be careful because I don't wanna go into the, the siding behind me. It's not gonna be a huge deal, but right down here, we definitely don't wanna do that, right? Because then you'll see that. Um, and really, like I said, overkill is probably not that big a deal because we can just run a bead of caulk there. But what we can do is we can kind of pull this away a little bit and then, stick something underneath there, a piece of metal or something to stop the, the blade from going all the way through. So that's how I'm gonna do it, just to show you. All right, so I just got this piece of real thin sheet metal, okay? Um, I have scraps all over the place, <laughs> stuff like this. I'm sure you can understand that. Um, if you ever have been in a somebody's shop, they have stuff that's just hanging around. So I'm just gonna do that just to protect it. And then again, this line doesn't need to be perfect, but what you could do, I mean, there's a couple things you could do. You could put something up here as your guide and then just have that thing just go right down or you can just freehand it. Let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna try to freehand it, okay? And they make these oscillating tools um, cordless. So, but I happen to have a outlet right here. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this here. And so that so as we as we rebuild this now you want to always do siding from bottom to top right um so normally if this wasn't here and you were just doing your own siding obviously you'd start from the bottom and just layer it and layer it and layer it but now we're gonna have to kind of work with this we're gonna put a piece of siding in here if you can see my home uh this is built in the 70s and it's kind of a strange thing that they've done here this is like a insulation of some sort. I put the backing in here of this wood 
and then put a lot of insulation on the inside when we were doing our remodel. But this is a little bit hokey, but um, this is covered too. And we live in a relatively mild climate. The real way to do this was probably to pull all this out and actually replace it with, with plywood, but we're not gonna do that, right? So um, anyway, so we probably do wanna put something in here just, uh, I mean, I don't know that it would hurt if I end up just putting siding and putting siding. Nobody's ever going to know that's there, but I will. <laughs> so I got to see what I have that I can maybe just fill that gap with. Uh, so let me go see what I can come up with. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I found a uh, piece of wood that I was able to cut down to this size. It's a little bit bigger than what I, what I need there, which is perfect. So then I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line around it. Make it nice and clean like that. And let's see here. So there we go. Put a couple of uh, nails in there. I need to get these measurements. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this in. Right, we're gonna put that one in there. Okay. That looks pretty good. And these little gaps here, we're just going to fill those in with caulk. So that's no big deal. Okay. And then the last piece right here. Remember, we pried this up, this one up, so that we could slide this in the back. Okay. Okay. I, you know what? There's a one nail here that I'm fighting. So, um, cause it, we want the same reveal here, right? And this is not quite the same. This is a little smaller. This is a little bigger. So we're gonna have to remove that nail. Okay. So I've been fighting with this for a little bit. So I just want to be um, transparent with you. There was a nail here that I was fighting with trying to get it up there. And then there's actually a nail here. And these side cutters work great for this, for removing these. So I had to kind of get inside there and keep working at it. And I'm finally I'm pulling this thing out, okay? Because I was fighting that. And that's why that thing wouldn't slide up in there. So we should be good now. Okay, so now we're just sliding it up inside. I was actually, um, I put a notch in here trying to work around it. See that? I just cut a little notch because you're not going to see it. And I was going to try to do that, but it just, I still was fighting it. So I just went ahead and got that nail out. So now, now we're good to go. You can just see what your reveal is here. This is four and a half. And if you need to tap this, if for some reason you need to tap it, you want to get a separate block and put it here and then just tap on it. You don't want to tap on your siding, right? Because then you'll you'll leave marks in your siding. But if you put a block of wood here and you just tap on it, that'll keep you from, from making those marks, right? So, all right, so I think we're about good. Yep, looks good. Let's go ahead and put her in. So now all you'll do is just let's go back through here and caulk these, fill in, in, in those with caulk. And then we actually have some spare paint. We had our, paint, our house painted uh, a couple years ago. We ended up getting, with some, getting some extra paint. So I'm just gonna paint over this, even though this actually is our, this was painted and it was removed from our backyard. Just wanna make sure that it looks nice and clean. And so there we go. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you. You know, it might be a little bit different on your house. You might have vinyl siding. This is cedar siding. Uh, the siding might be running a different way, but you get the general idea of what you're looking at in order to in order to repair a hole if you have it on in your siding. So, thanks for watching, and God bless you.